G'day everyone, and welcome to Vipers Gaming. Thanks for joining us. And today we will be playing Mass Effect Andromeda. But we are going to head to the Nexus, and then we will land at Kadara. Rider. Let's see if we can talk to Cora and whether she has something to say about the Parafona. Nope. Oh, I think we need to drop off something to Suvi as well. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. I just don't trust our autopilot alone for too long. Old orbit is steady. Safely home, thanks to you and your skills. I've learned a great deal. It was fun to really test myself out there. <laughs> Spoken like a soldier. Your performance was exemplary, Ryder. I can see clearly why your N7 would be the best of the best. If you tire of being a Pathfinder, I'd be honored to call you a Brother Heskal. So that's pretty awesome. So, a quick check of missions we still have to do. Obviously, go to Kadara. Oh, that was the one we missed. We're doing that. Uh, Kadara. Kadara again, probably. Not sure about that one. So, we may do a quick run back to Vold, then to Aval, then we'll go to um, Kadara. Ryder. 
Rider. Beginning approach. Bold orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ. So we're not going to waste time, we're going to run there quickly. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is back online. Wow. I wonder how it works. Do you think they're adapted remnant tech? Rylus? That's me, yes. I'm Rylus. Wow. You really showed up. You said you had intel. I can't ignore that. I just didn't think you'd come yourself. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation facility sent the Kets scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased Ket movement through certain areas of Vold. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. So something that could involve exaltation, or the creation of a new exaltation lab. Well, that's what I thought. Either way, Ket organizing means trouble. We don't have the tech to break into their bases, but someone has to stop them. You're talking to the right person. We always help our friends and allies. I knew you'd help. I'll send the nav point immediately. Another mission sitting up here. So let's check that out. You seem troubled. Oh, Pathfinder Rider. I was just speaking a blessing for two of our young soldiers murdered by the Ket. So many dead or disappeared, but these two cuts are the deepest yet. Do you need space? I can go. It's all right. Speaking grief lessens it. These children were swayed by a new belief that's taken hold. A soul finds enlightenment through reincarnation, but some now think they can force this. They fling themselves at death, thinking they will be reborn stronger. Glory seekers, we call them. I have heard of this. No one I know, but I can't be certain. How could they possibly know what they believe is true? <sighs> that is the great question of faith. I tried to speak to some of these misguided ones, but they didn't listen. And now, if you meet some of these glory seekers, do what you can to save them from death. 
That's all any of us can do. Thank you. That's Techix, according to my map. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Shipment coming in from Kadara tomorrow. Hava. I'm taking How prepaid, may I help you? bid registered orders. Thanks for only. talking. No exceptions if you can't pay. Plenty of others can. Hava. How may I help you? What do you sell? Small comforts. Nothing of value to you. Thanks for... who saved the, the Moshai. How many cat did you kill? I hope they screamed. I don't kill cat because I enjoy it. It just has to be done. Well, yeah. Your people haven't been hunted and enslaved and exalted. It's different for us. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I know they call you Pathfinder. What do you need from us? Your priestess, Roshwar Lin, told me about you. I was just curious. Roshwar Lin is a blind old woman. She cowers with her blessings while the cat consume everything. She said you were throwing away your lives. Nothing is thrown away. It's not suicide. We train as hard as anyone in the Resistance. But when you don't fear dying, that's when there's everything to gain and nothing to lose. I can't wait for my turn. But all our blood still runs too hot. Tej is our hope now. Tej is going to take down a Ket station. We should hear the news soon. And what if he fails his mission? If he dies fighting Ket, there is no failure. But if he returns with nothing accomplished, we'll know he was cowardly. A cowardly heart isn't worthy of blessed rebirth. So where's this Ket station? You shouldn't interfere, Pathfinder. It's okay, Venge. As long as Ket die, it doesn't matter who's killing them. Here's the nav point. It was... interesting meeting you, Pathfinder. Skies be bright for you. So there we are, two stations we have to find and destroy. I'm okay with them. Life support restored. You're so alive, PB. More than the others of your species I've met. I think you're fascinating. And Gara are so open with their feelings. This is a little uncomfortable. And humans, as we can see, are not. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Thank you for following Rylus's tip, Ryder. Taking out these cat will mean a lot to my people.
There's a lot of organic material here. Angara? Ket? Something else. Scans could tell us more, Pathfinder. Life support at 100%. There is an audio log saved on this device, Pathfinder. Cat? Let's get a translation, Sam. Processing. The Angara Genetic Code that expresses this projection of a bioelectric field has been isolated. We're processed to integrate this into our own. Scanned and recorded. Another audio log detected. Let's hear it. Transmissions unacknowledged by whom? Possible breakdown in connection and information mishandled. Investigation ongoing. Logs to be updated shortly. That... Scanned and recorded. All transmissions appear to have failed. Some of the team has suggested that this research is being prevented from leaving Helios. Troubling implications. Set aside for now. Taking steps to verify that primary communications are still active. I'm picking up the nap. Pathfinder, these samples all contain the same genetic sequence. At first, it appears to be a familial connection, but the genome shows signs of modification. Evidence suggests the sequence was drawn from a single individual and incorporated into other cat. The Archon. Exaltation. So does the Archon control the cat because they see him as a progenitor? Or does his rank give him the privilege to propagate his genes like this? A cultural question beyond my purview. In any case, the stuff we found should be of great interest to the science team back on the Nexus. Joel, I heard you singing the other day. I peeked in. You were applying lotion to your neck. Flaps. You're mistaken. About? The singing. However, the daily application of hydrogenated ash salve is important to keep my neck flaps glossy. So many questions.
bomb outpost we heard about from that ket log on Vold. We're not alone. Couldn't hit the broadside of a barn right then, mainly because it was too close. I'm reading a temperature. Archon's not the Ket's supreme leader. There's more like him, all over Andromeda. Gathering the genetic information of other races and transmitting it back. And making more Ket in the process. Rogs, you need to get your supply explanation. Archon commands to block all transmissions of Angara data to the Empire. He needs to breach the protocol. Ooh, sounds like the Archon's ignoring protocol. Communications. Only Archon is aware of shifting situation in Helios. If Archon's opinion is that protocols are not to our benefit, accept his wisdom. He is the Senate's voice in Helios and must be obeyed. There's something here. I don't believe the Primus and the Archon agree. It sounds like the Ket are starting to question what the Archon's doing. If this continues, it might be good for all of us. What do we do with this, then? There is likely nothing to be done. But conflicts between factions seldom resolve quietly. Then we'll just have to keep an ear to the ground for now. With luck, something will happen. Alright, with that accomplished, let's fast travel over here and go to this. Yes. Who are they talking about? Me. Obviously. <laughs> Approaching the glory seeker nav point, the cat station is close. Taking this station is impossible. Are you Tej? Whoa! Didn't see you there. Yeah. I'm Tej. How did you find me? Wait. Kolf and the others, right? Stars. Don't tell them you found me like this. I wasn't expecting all this security, and the longer I sit here, the more I doubt everything. You're just being rational, seeing the reality of what you're doing here. Doubt and a shrinking heart prevents a blessed rebirth. And you won't remember your life before. 
And if you forget, you're just like everyone else. And it would have been better not to die at all. Such a revelation. See, the more I think, the, the worse the thoughts get. I've got some experience with Ket. I can help with this, if that would... help. Would you? I think with all of us, we might actually take down this station. Live or die, I wouldn't leave here a failure. Funny, those turrets on top never ever shoot at you. You think they would? Bet they didn't expect that sort of attack through the window. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Still alive. And honestly, I'm glad. Living. And learning is a good way to grow stronger, too. And I've never met anyone who had a blessed rebirth. And what if it's not real? Stars. If my friends heard this talk, they'd turn their backs. Vince especially. Oh, I'm almost afraid to go back. I can't tell you what to do, but maybe Roshwar Lin can help. I always liked Roshwar. And you're right, she'll know how to handle my friends. Whether it means we talk to them, or I stop listening to them. <sighs> we grew up together. Sometimes you grow apart. Yes. Maybe. Thanks, Pathfinder. At least we kicked those cats on their behinds, right? We will leave the Architect mission on this planet for another episode, as I've mentioned. Now we will head to Haval real quickly and do the um, transmission thing there. <laughs> and we will then go to Kadara. I know it's a long episode, but I will cut some of it down. Orbit is steady.
Entering atmosphere. LZ in sight. The reports didn't do this world justice. It's... ethereal. Director Addison, I imagine you have concerns that we haven't placed a full outpost? Frankly, it's impressive you weren't covered in vines on landing. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. After the Ket, and what they've seen of the Exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Her Varel helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. I still need your voice. Something they can think about instead of an outpost flag. We're still here, still doing important work. Then tell them that. This is Havarl. I didn't find an outpost. I found Angara, and saw a piece of who they are. We're welcome to help here. It's not ours. It's all of ours. I think that makes the whole cluster closer to home. Into the books, Pathfinder. At a snout. There we go. Full 100% viability. Ah, you'll be the Pathfinder then. Dr. McIntyre, from the Nexus. Ryder, welcome to Havarl. She'll be more welcoming now that you put the vault back on track. The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. You know how Tavos found the monolith, right? Reincarnated memories? Aye, I heard. One for the textbooks. You believe him? But you're a scientist. Asari share thoughts and memories. Prothean text speaks in visions. Those are scientific facts. There's more to people than what can go under a microscope, lad. Be careful around those monoliths. There might be more stasis fields. We think they only affect Angara, but who knows? Oh, we know. Make no mistake. I have a check-in system ready. Whether young Farley remembers it when he's chasing butterflies is another matter. What does your team do here? Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Asari. One profession's never enough. Then there's young Farley. He's here for the insects. And you? I'm the xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those runes. And listening. I imagine you've spoken to Kieran Dahls already? She's the one who invited us, aye. Fussed over us something terrible. But she's a fine lady, and hopefully a good colleague down the road. I plan to listen to her. Good luck, McIntyre. Safe journeys, Ryder. Kieran says Haval would have lasted another cycle. The numbers can it. Most. Things are getting better. So what can I help I with? I can believe it. It came so close to losing We can everything. speak. Anything you need? 
Our people aren't causing you any trouble, are they? Not at all. They've been a big help, and Dr. McIntyre has been sharing wonderful stories about your galaxy. It's good to know that not all aliens are like the Ket. I should get going. Stars be bright for you, Pathfinder Rider. Okay everyone, we'll leave it there for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified the next time we have an episode come out, make sure you tap that bell notification icon. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, see ya!